Hello, in this video we're going to solve the leap year problem on Exorcism.io. So I'm going to click here on this, and then I'm going to copy and paste this command and run it in my command line prompt. And this runs the Exorcism executable program that will fetch all the files we need for this problem. So if we bring this up, we can see it gives us leap.py, which is the template that we need to fill in and then also the unit test file. You can also see the unit test file right here if you click on test suite as well. So let's go to the readme and figure out what this problem is asking for. Given a year, report if it's a leap year, and leap years happen every four years, unless that year is also divisible by 100 years, in which case it's not a leap year, Unless, unless, uh, the year is also evenly divisible by 400 years, which means it is a leap year, even though it's divisible by 100. So we're going to have to figure out how do we determine if a number or an integer is divisible by another integer. So let's just go to Google. Let's see, uh, I want to type Python uh, evenly divisible. We can find that there's a number of stack overflow posts on this. And we can see from here that they're using the mod operator, which is this percent sign. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control B to open up an interactive shell. Now the mod operator, um, well first let me talk about the division operator, which is slash. So 22 divided by 7, this is going to be 3 remainder 1, except the remainder 1 part is going to be as a fraction. If you just want the remainder part, then you can do 22 mod 7, and this will get you one. So if you ever want just the whole number part of this, you can always uh, pass that to the int function, which will always round down. So this is how we can do uh, 22 divided by seven is three remainder one. Mod operator will sort of give you this remainder part. Now, if we want to find out if a number is evenly divisible, say 40 mod four is four is evenly, uh, can evenly divide 40 then the remainder is going to be zero. And this is what we're going to do. So 2000 was a leap year, and we can see that 2000 mod 4 is zero, so 4 evenly divided 2000. However, remember there's the other rule where if it's divisible by 100, which it is because it mods to zero, so that would mean it's not a leap year, except remember there's the third rule where if it's divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. So any year that's divisible by 4 is a leap year, unless it's divisible by 100, in which case it's not a leap year, unless it's also divisible by 400, in which case it is a leap year. So let's start taking a look at those unit tests. We can see here it's expecting a leap.py file from us, and it's going to import is leap year, which according to this is a function. It's calling, you can tell by the parentheses right here, and it's passing a single integer for the year. And from these assert false and assert true, it's expecting that the return value is going to be true or false, depending on if this is a leap year or not. So let's go back to the original problem right here, and I'm just going to start filling, writing some comments to sort of stub out this function. Check if year Let's see, well, it's going to be passed in argument. We'll just call that year. So check if year is divisible by 4. Then we'll also need to check if it's divisible by 100. And then also check if the year is divisible by 400. So we're going to have to arrange our if statements to return true or false based on these rules. So try to solve this on your own first. Give it a good try. And in the next video, I'll cover my solution.